Hi everyone, Rich Umber here, back again. Yep, back for part 3 of this RMS or SS Balmoral Castle tutorial. Once again, it's just me doing all the work because Bree's doing her own project. And how's it going, Bree? <laughs> it's going good. Good, good, good. I got the, the main outline, so I have to do the detailing. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. I'll be able to check over in a bit, so that's what Bree's doing, and I'm going to be doing this. So what we're going to do is start with the uh, black line on the folk on underneath the forecastle. So if you look on the prototype over there, it goes along there and then up a bit and then up a bit. So we'll go down to the black line here and well, the front end of it and we're going to build this forward now. So we're going to want to build forward or replace 26 blocks of the grey or is it 25? We'll make it 25. <laughs> so we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So make, well, we'll make it 26. Like that. And then next row up we add 16. So uh, 1, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that's up one like that, and then up one again uh, all the way forward. So up one and just build all the way forward till it attaches or goes over the front or around the front of the, of the bow. So in theory, it should look something like that. There we go. That's our folks all done like that. All the black stripe, anyway. And we can add the. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> That scared the hell out of me. Oh well. Right, where, where were we? Uh, <laughs> we had our windows. <laughs> our windows to our folks. <laughs> and I'll put our first window here. Um, and I think every fourth. Every fourth block, like so. so that's, I don't know how many there's going to be, but every fourth block had a window like that. And bless you again, Brie. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I think that's all the windows added there. So there we are. So, a recap of what we're going to be doing. Like I say, I didn't say that at the beginning because we're focused on what Bree was doing. But we're going to be doing the focusal, which is coming up in just a sec. Just get this black line out of the way. So, I'm going to do copy that to the other side. Flip to the right. And then paste. And there we go, that's both sides done of that, so that's that part of the folks are done. So then we're going to move on to the folks up here, which is the, this deck here, and the well deck down there. Sort out all the details there, and then there's going to be details on the top deck, like vents, uh, a couple of skylights and things like that. And then we're just basically doing all the small details and focusing each section at a time. So here, and then down the ship, and then towards the stern, so that'll be for today. So what we're going to do now is move down to the well deck, the area behind the folks so there's the folks all there. We go to this area in front of the superstructure, or on the front of the superstructure, and we'll go out to the side. I haven't got all my blocks selected because I've been doing pixel art, so I'm just going to get all the blocks that I need for this. So I get my red, and my black, and my yellow terracotta. I always need that. I need my wood stairs. Where are those? Where are those? Where are those? Where are those? There. So I just get all the all the blocks that I need. So what we're doing? Oh yeah. So what we're going to do? We're going to add stairs to the front end. So we're going to go to the outside edge and go from the outside and go fifth block in. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to add stairs two blocks wide going down to the deck. So stairs there, two blocks wide, going down to the deck below, like so. And then you're going to need your banisters, which are two up at the bottom. So two up, two up, two up. The other side, two up two up, two up, like that, and there's our first staircase there, and then do the same on the other side, so fifth block in from the end, so one, two, three, four, five, remove those two blocks and add stairs going down, like so, and then add our banisters going up, up and up, and then up, up and up, and there we go, there's our two staircases there. And then we can add handrails going across the front, so we need, where is our handrails, 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 there, we use 
uh, iron bars for this one. So from the edges go towards the stairs like so and then from the stairs across the front to the other stairs and then out to the other side like so. There we are. There's our stairs added. Marvellous, brilliant, beautiful. Okay. Now we need to add a cargo hatch in this area, so we go down to the front of the wall, or front wall again, and to the centre block, and we're going to leave a single block gap, and then the hatch itself is going to be seven wide, so centre block plus one, two, three that way, and one, two, three that way, and then the sides are six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and across the front, and then a spine in the middle, like so. And then we use our corpse slabs, wherever the hell they are. And just to add the rest of the cover, like so. That side done, and then the same the other side. Marvellous. Beautiful. Brilliant. So I'm just going to look at the prototype, see if there's anything else I need to add. Uh, there's going to be stairs and a pair of vents, so we're going to add those. So if we go to the back of the cargo hatch and go one out, so the back back wall of the cargo hatch and go one out, we'll add our vent which is uh, five higher, so one, two, three, four, five, and one forward in that space there, same the other side in the space here, one, two, three, four, five up and one forward, and there we go, that's that little job done there. And then we can add some windows across the front, so we'll put one in the centre like so, and then one either side like that just randomly and there we go that's that little job done marvelous brilliant beautiful okay so now we need to add uh, some more stairs now so if we turn around and head to the forecastle or the back wall of the forecastle uh, we want to go from the center and go to the seventh block out from the center so we get our stairs again and it's the seventh block out from the center so at center then one two three four five six seven and then we remove two blocks and two wood blocks like so and then replace with the stairs going down like that so it's more of an indented staircase rather than the previous one so you can see like that, stairs like that and then the banisters, two up, two up and like that and then two up, two up and then you want to block either side of the stairs at the top like that and there you go that little job done and then do the same the other side so it's seven out so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Remove, 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 and like that, and then place stairs, 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 stairs. Block, 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 and stairs, 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 stairs. And then blocks up, two up, two up, two, two up, two up. You may as well join them together under there as well. Didn't do that on this side as well, so put one there, and put one there. And then the blocks at the top, there, and there. And there we go, marvellous. That's those, those little stairs added there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is marvel of what we just built. And then I'm going to do a jump cut when I work out what to do next. And then we shall move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, Rich and Bree back again. <laughs> Bree's still working. Uh, so the next part we're going to do is move on to the masts. And the, well, basically the focal area here. To work on the masts. Maybe, honey. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to use uh, the yellow terracotta, well I use yellow terracotta for this one, but you can use whatever you want. And the mast goes from the centre block, at the back of the forecastle here, we're going to go to the th uh, fourth block forward on the wood. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to build up in uh, three rows of fifteen. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there we go. So long as it's above the funnels, you're alright. So you can add another row of 15 if you want, but I think that's just enough. And then, uh, say about 5 or 6 down from the top, just add 3 out to the sides. Like so. And if you're like me, you can add the black blocks like so. And then a couple down from there, or 5 or 6, build, build out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With the black design. And then one, two, three, four, five. Like that. There we go. So that's the 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 mast added there. And then for the crow's nest, normally go about there, I think, just above the bottom fifteen, or top top of the top of the bottom fifteen. So build around 
like so, and then build sort of a bathtub design. Kind of like that. I think it might be a bit too big actually, so sort of scale that back a bit. Uh, don't know what to do actually. I'll oh, leave it like that. Build a bathtub and then you put a cover over the top using. Did I use slabs for that one? I did. Use court slabs. Wherever they are. There. And end rods. So I put two end rods in the corners. Like so. And then slabs around the top. Like that. There we go. That's that bit done there. And that's the uh, crow's nest done. Like I said, it did look a bit big, but you can probably adjust it if you want to. And then move on to the next part, which is the bottom of the mast, which is the uh, the crane, sort of the, the crane arms, if you like. So I go from the size. Go to the third block up, so one, two, three, and add a block. Same on the other side, add a block. And then we want to build backwards in 15. No, hang on, there's eight rows of two back, so we go, that's one block already, so two. Hang on. Hang on, so eight rows of two, so we go back <laughs> one, two. Sorry, that's two, that's three. <laughs> no, hang on, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop laughing at me, Brie. So there's eight rows of two. <laughs> There's eight rows of two back like that, and then chain up the black. Damn you, Brie, damn you. So do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then the black design at the end like that. So we have sort of like a pincer, and then the front we want for three rows of seven, four. So it's seven stacked upwards. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then above that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the black block, save the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, bleh, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. There we go. So there's the mast done. Damn you, Brie. There's the mast all sorted <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the mast like that, and it should look something like that. Okay, so that's the mast all sorted. Now we're going to move on to the details, which is another pain in the ass. We're going to go down to the front of the mast. And we're going to add the mech, which is one block forward and one block to the side. So we add two blocks like that, two blocks like that, and then two blocks or three blocks across like that. It kind of supports the mast as well, if you like. So that's the little mech added there. And then we're going to uh, go and add the, add the cargo chains, which is uh, 15 blocks forward of the, of the mech. So go from the centre. Go 15 forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we add the big E, which is 5 wide, I think. And then dot, dot, dot like that. There we go, so there's a big E like that. And then using, uh, well, I, I normally use stone brick stairs, but you can use whatever you want and your imagination and add a cargo chain, an uh, anchor chain rather. Which is 11 wide, so that's 5 facing one way, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make it 6 facing that way, and then 5 facing the other way, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you squint, they kind of do look like anchor chain links. Do the same on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Same the other way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. And then at the end of that, you want another big E. Like that, and there you go, there's your chains. <clears throat> added that. Alright, so that's that. And then what we want to do then is go from the the, the, the front biggie. We're going to want to go forward uh, 8 or 9 rather. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we just add a crane. Which I've not written down the diameter or size of this thing. So we're going to wing it a bit here. So we build it about uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then looking at the one on the prototype, it's a bit more elaborate than the one I'm thinking of. So if I go over to the prototype, because I don't know what I'm doing, we shall see how this goes. So if we go from the second block up, we go... So we go two, 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 two,
three blocks high and this should, this should work so reduce that down to three then from the top we add two slabs and then one two three one two three one two three four five I think that's how it goes not quite what I'm expecting but then we sort of go underneath no they don't, they don't look right do it I think what I do make it a little bit higher make it one block higher then we'll do it again so we go two forward and then one two three one one two three one two three four five all the art of winging and then we'll just add the slabs like that there we go they look too bad now so like I say it's four high for the crane arm or crane body and then it's slabs in two three three five and then underneath it's just stack them up doubled like so and there you go there's the crane like that not brilliant not perfect but it'll have to do and then next job is to add some events which is going to be four four each no three each side but these are going to be randomly placed because I don't know the exact measurements or exactly where they go so if we go to the side of the mast we'll add event sort of just out to the side of that there so you can see just beside the mast there put event and then a little bit forward just behind the, the anchor chains add another one there three high plus one forward and then another one just in front of the of the E like so add another one like that and then it shouldn't look too bad so do the same on the other side exactly the same places so uh, one two three plus one forward and the same at the other end the other one so one two three like that so making sure they're all in the same place and then the last one just down by the crane one two three one forward like so and that's not in the right place like that there we go so there's our, our vents added there and then there's a couple of skylights if we look at the prototype there's a skylight just in front of these vents so i don't know once again i don't know exactly where but if we go sort of one two three four five forward of the crane uh, of the vent we just add six blocks like that and this is sort of a, a non glazed skylight if you like it's just sort of a a random doohickey like this and there you go that's that sort of thing there like that so it's what was it one two three four five forward of the of the vent do the same on the other side one two three four five and do the same six blocks like that and then stairs around the top like that and try and get them lined up there we go so there's our two vent uh skylights like that and it don't look too bad as some changes we need to do so we go back to the front of the ship at the fore peak where the um where the forecastle goes up by two blocks we put a block just there so it creates a sort of a, a slope rather than a vertical drop and it shouldn't look too bad and then we can start adding the handrails so if we go from this block here and start adding the handrails now once again we've got the blocks which are wood so we're going to replace the wood blocks in the corners here so if you put the handrails on top of the blocks like so they don't join they just sit on top of the wood blocks and I don't like that so what I'll do I'll change them wood blocks to the to the grey you can't really see it because of the grey is the same colour as the bloody background here so it's difficult to see but I'll just change all these wood blocks to the grey then the handrails will sit flush with those marvellous so yeah that's that side done we just add the handrails down and then I'll do the other side down the side like so damn it like that and then up to the centre line try not to bang my head along the way and up to the other side I'll, I'll do the detailing bits here as well so that's the handrail so far and then just replace the wood blocks with the grey in the corners damn it to there, up to there, missed one, replace damage, no one will notice, up to there, up to there, and then there as well, and then the handrails again. These handrails are a pain. There is an anchor that goes on the side of this as well, but I'll add that later on just to in the final details but there we go there's the uh, the folks all pretty much done and it uh, don't look too bad marvelous
So, have a quick look at what we have there, and I'm going to read my notes and work out what to do next. And we shall move on. Let me just change my page. Am I on the right page? No, nope. change the page that way. And, yep, so I know what I'm going to do next. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a jump cut, think about what I'm doing, and then we shall return in just a moment. Back in a moment. Okay, back again. So, what we're going to do now is move on to the top of the ship's wheelhouse now. And we're going to add a couple of vents up there. Do I need handrails? Nope. So just add a pair of vents uh, roughly halfway down the middle or from halfway down the centre or halfway down whatever. So we go from the middle down to the middle and then out to the side by one and go up one, two, three and one forward. One to the side, one, two, three, one forward like that. And there you go. Two vents like that. Kind of like bunny ears if you look at it. <laughs> um, so that's that. And then what we want to do then is go behind the wheelhouse and add two big vents. Now, I don't know the exact placement of these, but if we go from the centre block on the back, and then go one back, and then out, one, two, three, four, and then add our cross there. So put the front of the cross there, and then go cross like that. And then do the same on the other side, so it's one, two, three, four, and add the cross like so. So there's our, our base for our two vents. And then the vents themselves, you're going to build them to five high, so two, three, four, five, Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, plus two in the middle, and then face them forward. So put stairs on the backs like that, facing forward, and then two blocks forward, two forward, two forward, and one, and then with our stairs go like this, under, over, and under, and like that. Um, but as I built them slightly too close to the wheelhouse, I think what we might do is move them back by one. So apologies for that. This is my fuck up of course, so just move them back by one, so move back one block like so. And there we go, so there's one block back, and then we do the same, so two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and then up two like that. So like I say, my mistake, but of course this is me doing it, so I don't really care. Two forward, two forward, two forward in one, and then underneath like so around the top and then underneath again like so and then of course do the same on the other side so I'm building three of these eventually effectively two two three four five two two three four five two three four five plus two in the middle stairs 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 and stairs two forward two forward two forward and one and underneath on the top on the top and underneath there we go so there we are there's our two vents added there right disaster averted everything is happy again okay so there's our two vents and then what we want to do is go behind the first funnel now and add two smaller vents um, so if we go behind the first funnel and go about four back one two three actually make it three because four is too far go three back and then three out one two three and add two vents which are four high plus one forward same the other side, one, two, three, four, and one forward. There's your two vents there. And then we go to the third uh, to the front of the second funnel. And then we want to add uh, three vents in front of that. So, it's, so just go to the front of the ladder. Go three forward, one, two, three, and then three up. Or four up, one, two, three, four, plus one. And then two forward of that and out two, one, two. Do the same again, one, two, three, four, plus one. Same again the other side. So one, uh, one, two, three, four, plus one like that. So there's your three vents in front of the funnel like that. And then you want two more behind the second funnel, just behind here. And do the same again. So it's back three, one, two, three, and out three, one, two, three, and go up three, uh, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, plus one. Same the other side, one, two, three, four plus one like that and there we go there's our vents added there and it shouldn't look too bad now I'm just going to do another jump cut now because I've not written down the next bit so I shall return in just a moment okay back again Rich and Bree here <laughs> yep and what we're going to do now is move on to behind the last skylight behind the funnels so we've got, sc so we've got the funnel there and then you've got that skylight which we built in in the previous part and what we're going to do now is add another skylight behind that in this area here. So we're going to go to, to the back of that skylight first. And we're going to go to the seventh, uh, eighth block back. So one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then put a maybe put a centre block there. I've not got my colour sorted out yet. There we go, so change that to red. So I've got a centre block there. And this skylight is seven wide, so it's one, two, three that way. One, two, three that way. And then the sides are eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and across the back. And now this skylight is a different different design, it's more of a pyramid. So I build on the back wall and add five and then three like that. Same on the other front, add five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three. And then we'll add stairs to create the pyramid slope. Like so. So we'll sort of create it like that. And then you're gonna need gonna need supports inside for the pyramid parts. Like that. So you've got pyramid slopes going up two blocks like that. And then we'll add a spine as well down the middle just for them to connect to, so it makes it easier. Like that. So you can see you've got the five slopes like that. And they attach to the, the center uh, center spine like that. I'll add the blocks there as well. And then we'll add the uh, stairs. Like so. And stairs there. And then blocks underneath, like so. And there we go, there's our skylight added there. And it don't look too bad. Right, so then I think yeah, there's, a, there's a vent that goes on top. Is it two vents or one vent? I think it's there's two vents. So if we had two vents on the centre, so one either, one either side of the centre spine, we go up four, one, two, three, four, and then one forward to the side of that, one, two, three, four, one forward. And there we go, there's our uh, skylight and vent added there. Kind of like this has got bunny ears around Tenny. That, <laughs> that's that little thing down there. And then we're going to leave that area now and go down to the behind the superstructure down onto the main deck. And from the uh, superstructure inside, we're going to count back to add the mast. Now the mast should be 11 blocks back from the internal walls here. So if we go from this wall in here, count back 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and put our mast there and we should have enough clearance which we do and that's fine so we've got 11 blocks back we add our mast there so like I say it's 11 blocks back from the uh, internal walls there and the mast itself again is 3 15s so it's 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like that. And it's kind of the same design at the top, sort of a couple down from the top, build out 3, and then out 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus the black blocks. Same the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, plus the black blocks. There we go, that's those bits done there. And then for the crane, uh, the, or the arms of the crane thingy, what sits? Go down to the bottom, go to the third block up, put a block there and a block there, and then we're going to build back in. Uh, what do we want? We want nine rows of three heading backwards, and these ones slope upwards. So we go, that's one row of three already. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a black block on the end. So that's nine rows of three like that. Same the other side. Like that. Oh shit, wrong place. And there we go, that's the mast done there. You can add the front parts as well, which are not really that really that important, but what I'll do, I could do them actually. So we'll have two blocks forward from those rows of three, so two forward like that. And then go up sort of two rows of Eight, if you like, so one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the black block in there, like so. Basically, these are the folded up crane arms, so not really in use. So do the same on the other side, like so. And they don't look too bad. Marvelous. <laughs> Pardon you, Bree. So that's <laughs> that's that section done there. That's the mast. <laughs> and then. We're not looking too bad. Still got plenty to go, but the ship's not looking too bad. We've got the two masts on. <laughs> and then we want... Uh, so we've got, <laughs> what else have we still got to go? We've got to add the vents, lifeboats, propellers, rudder. Not doing, not doing too bad. 
Yeah, so we've still got plenty to go. So, what we're going to do now is to add mm -hmm. uh, cargo hatches and vents. So if we go back down to the bottom of the mast, and then we go and add our first hatch, which is three, three, uh, four blocks back from the mast. So one, two, three, four, and our hatch will be uh, was it seven wide? So it's one, two, three that way. One, two, three that way, and then the sides are four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then across the back, and then the spine in the middle, and then using our slabs again. Put our slabs going across the body of the vent, uh, the hatch, like so. Like that, and then we add or leave a gap of four, so. Um, so my, da, 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 da. yep, so it's, uh, yep, so it's a four gap, so it's one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block we do the same again, so seven wide, like so, and then the sides are eight, uh, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and across the back, join them together across the front for the hat, uh, the spine, and then add the slabs for the tops. Like that, and there we go. That's our hatches done there. And then what we do? We go back to the cargo, uh, back to the crane rather. And we're going to go from the crane, uh, from the mast. We're going to go and out and add a couple of vents. And these are going to be six block out from the side. So from the side of the mast, count out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we we'll add our cross there. So the center of the uh, center of the mast is the sixth block out, or well, the center of the vent is the sixth block out. So there we are. And then we're going to build these ones to five high again. So two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And uh, the ones on the prototype face back, but you have them facing forward if you want to. I'll have mine facing back because that's me. And it's the same again. So add the stairs on the top, like so. Plus two, 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 and one. And then stairs underneath on top, on top, and underneath. And there you go, there's the first vent there, and do the same on the other side, so once again, six blocks out from the from the mast. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the centre of our cross. Same design again, so two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, plus two in the middle. And then stairs, 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 and stairs. And then two, 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 and one. Stairs, 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 marvellous. That's those two vents added there. And then back round the mast again, we're going to add a couple of mechs. So from the front of the mast, we'll add two blocks forward, either side like that, and then three across like that. And then it's up to you if you want to add these ones. These ones are just to the side of the mast. So two back, or two out to the side, two out to the side, and then three joining together like that on the side of the mast. Do the same on the other side, so two out, two out, and then one, two, three, like that. So it's, it's, it's basically just a clutter of blocks around the, around the edges of the mast, but um, it don't look too bad. So that's that little job done there. And then uh, we're going to add some stair or faux, faux stairwells, because I can't be bothered to make these functional, but we can add to the sides of the, of the cargo hatch. Uh, if we go to the from the, the hatch closest to the mast, go to the back side, back wall of it, so this corner block here, and we go count out th to the th to the third block out, so one, two, three, and that's where we're going to put our stairwell, so we build that three wide like that, and then we're going to build back three as well, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then space there like that, and then build the, th the, the body up, build up to three high, like, so, like I say, these are going to be faux, so they're not going to be actually useful. But you can put a door on there to make it look like it's functional, um, and then just build up so like it's like a like a pyramid design. Um, by the what I'm meaning is faux because there's there's not enough room inside to actually use them as stairs, but they have they look the part. If you know what I mean. So you've got a stairwell there, and that's that one there like that. And then we do the same the other side. So it's the third block out, wasn't it? So 
One, two, three, do the same again. I'll be back, honey. Okay, you okay? Bathroom. Okay, okay. Now do our stairs like that. And then our stairs. Uh, blocks like that, there you go. <laughs> Breeze, okay. So that's our stairs added. And stairwells added. And then uh we want a couple more vents just in front of the deck house superstructure. So I'm not sure exactly where to, to put these ones, but these are just gonna be small vents anyway. So if you go from the corner here and sort of fall down into that space and sort of go diagonally out from the from the space. Build our vent sort of four high, one forward in that area, so it looks like that. And then do the same on the other side in that corner space and then one out one two three four and then one forward and then that's it that's that area done there and it don't look too bad there's one thing I've just forgot I just realized I've forgotten on the folks which is the the bollards but I'll go back to do those in a minute but that is that area done there and it don't look too bad so that's pretty much this area sorted and then we can add our handrails now if we go to the back end of the superstructure where the pillars are we can add our handrails going back like so to the other pillars along the edge like so and also got this block here we need to replace so replace that one with white like so and then up to the back end like that marvellous to the same the other side all the way down to the back end like so replace that block there with white or corpse, depending on what you're using, and there we go up to the back end, like so. Marvellous. So that's that little job done there, that's that sort of stern area done. So the silhouette of our ship is almost complete. Yeah, she ain't looking too bad. So, like I was saying, the, the bollards on the front of the ship I forgot to do. The bollards are basically anvils. And for those of you wondering what the ships are around here, we've got over there is the SS Rex, and we've got the Sabaiski, and then we've got loads of Bree ships, you've got the Area Dark Rose, I think that's the higher the uh, Blue Ocean. We've got the Hanata and the Stefan Savannah. Got a good variety of ships around here. Anyway, so we'll go back down to the forecastle here and we need our anvils, which are these, and we'll use those as our bollards. And we're going to put three pairs of these on the side. So if we go just beside the, the first big E, put a pair there. Go back a bit further to just by the side of the second set of vents put another pair there and then just before you get to the end by the skylight there put another pair there, these are just randomly placed because I don't have any exact measurements of where they are but we'll do them anyway put another pair there the other pair Ooh. No. just there and then the last pair just forward, now, like I say these are random details so you can follow these as much as you can and uh, everything should look okay but that's the way it is so that's the folks all sorted and the uh, details that were missing are now not so there we are that's that area done so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do another jump cut while I work out what to do next so it'll be this area next on the stern here for the next part and then the brothers and propellers and then we'll move on to the main part of this so this will be the finishing tutorial as well so this whole ship will be done in three parts and I'm quite impressed with that um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with how this thing's going. But anyway, I'll do a jump cut now while I work out what to do next, and then we should move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the top deck house on the stern here, or the top of the deck house. And there's going to be a skylight, a pair of lifeboats, and I think that's pretty much it on this area. So what we're going to do, we're going to focus on that area first. So we'll go to the front of the deck house where the red block is by the mast or where the mast overhangs and we're going to go to the fifth block back on the wood so one two three four five we're going to add our skylight there which is five wide so two either side sides are eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and then across the, f the back like that and then it's going to be a, sm well, a, a smaller size pyramid so we just add three across the back like that three across the back like that and then join them together like so and then we'll add our stairs every other block like that 
like I say, it's a scaled back skylight, so it's kind of shrunk. And then we just add blocks like so. So there's our skylight added there. Not much to look at, but you know, it's a thing. So that's that little job done there. And now for the lifeboats in this area, there's going to be two, one on each side here, and they're going to be uh, 12 long and only four blocks wide. So they're, they're kind of smaller lifeboats on this ship. So if we go to the front corners of the side of the deck house or the overhangs we've got this corner block here if we go in one to this block here and we'll add our, our davit which will be actually if we go forward to that so we go to this block here rather and if we go and add our davit which is five high so two three four five five high like that and then two up like that and then two in like that and then we add our boat which would be one block back i think or is it two miles back two blocks back for the base, so two blocks back, third block back, so one, two, three, and then we add our boat keel, so we add it one block like that, and it's going to be ten long, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then double that in width, so it's two rows of twelve, like two rows of ten like that, and then at the front we add two forward, two, two, two forward like that, at the back, two back, two back, and then join them together down the side. Now these are sort of random, basic, very basic boats, so don't expect you to copy them, but it's up to you. And then just fill in the boat like so, like that. And then for the canvas top, on the prototype I used red, may as well carry on with that tradition. Just cover the whole thing in red. Like so, and then for the last davit, just go two blocks back from the from the edge. Probably put it on this block here like that, and it's going to be five high again. So two, three, four, five, two up and two across, two across like that. And there you go. There's that lifeboat added there. And then we can do the same on the other side. So if we just fly around the other side, I'll do this as quick as I can. So on the wood block, got two, one, two, three, four, five, two up and two across. And then for the last davit over here, go two, one, two, three, four, five, two up, and two like that. So there's our boat gad davits added there. And then for the boat keel, add two rows of tens. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the twos at each end. And then the sides, like so. And like I was saying, these are very basic lifeboats. Probably want to do some better things yourself. I remember I'm just building this as a guide. You don't have to follow this as gospel. But then again, it is entirely up to you what you want to do. But I will say once again, if you're going to be building this as part of a downloadable project, a video on YouTube or something like that, post on social media, then don't forget to leave credit for the design. That's all I ask. And there we go. So there's our lifeboats added there. And that's the stern deck house added or sorted. And then last job for this area is just to add the handrails. We go from the back, from that last davit, nearer the back of the ship, and just add handrails around the back end of this deck house, all the way around the back, like so. And there we go. There's our handrails added, and that stern deck house is done. Marvelous. So what we're going to do now is move to the bottom of the ship and we're going to add the rudder, uh, rudder and propellers. So if we head down underneath now, down to that vertical point at section zero, in the back end of the keel, we're going to get our cobblestone wall for the hinges. Then we'll remove the centre sign there, remove that, and we're going to add uh, eight hinges. So spaced out, so put our first hinge there, and then two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and then eight. So eight hinges like that. And then for the uh, for the body of the uh, for the red part of the uh, for the uh, rudder, we're going to go to the bottom. And the bottom of the rudder is going to be three. So we're going to build the bottom half first. So build three back. One, two, three at the bottom, like so. And then we want two rows of two, two, two. And then we want up two, one, two, and then up four. One, two, three, four, and then curving forward again. We want three, 
one, two, three, and then two. One, two, like that. That's the height of the red, and then build that forward to connect to the rudder hinges, and then fill in this whole space with red. So just fill this all in. Like so. Like that, and then for the for the grey part we want to add one block on the end, like so. And then it's up three, one, two, three, and three again. One, two, three, like that. And then connect up with the rudder hinges like so. And there we go, there's our rudder rudder added there. And it don't look too bad. Marvellous. Now we move on to the propellers. Now for the propellers, these things are a bit more awkward. We're going to need sandstone. Either use sandstone or quartz. So I'm going to use sandstone because it's a slightly different colour. So sandstone blocks and sandstone wherever the hell they are stairs there. And what we're going to do, we're going to use quartz for this middle, for this uh, measuring part. So we're going to go to the end of the keel at the back here. And we're going to go to the uh, six block up, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five forward, so one, two, three, four, five, and then out five, I think. Yeah, I think it's out five. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't actually write that down, so I'm actually going to quickly go to the prototype because I think it's five. I just want to make sure. So if I put the block there, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine, that's five. Apologies, that I, I thought I wrote it down, but never mind. So yeah, it's five out from that point. So it's so from the end of the keel, it's six up, five back or forward, and then five out. So this end block here will be the middle of the propeller. So if I remove the other four blocks, and we use this as our middle, so we'll put our sandstone block on the end, like so. Or actually make that the centre of the propeller. So we'll put our sandstone blocks either side of that one. So we want to build a Nazi signal signal symbol like so, so build two up one one out two out one down you know a swastika thing two down one in two in one up people complain you know i don't care it's only a propeller so there we are there's our blades and then for the sandstone stairs we add the blades like so and try and get this lined up like that so there we are there's our first blade and then the next blade like so, and then the next one on the side, like so, and then the one underneath, like so, and there we are, there's our first propeller, and then the centre like that, so there we are, there's our propeller added, and then for the propeller shaft we just go from the centre all the way forward in red, until it blends in with the hull, like so, and then one block back from the propeller, we just add two up, two up and one across like that and then just fill the area in like so until it all blends in with the hull and there we go there's our propeller added there and then so I do the same the other side I know I normally do a copy uh, copy paste but as it's only a small thing I do the same this side so we'll go back down to the keel and we'll go six up so one two three four five six and five forward one two three four five and then five out. One, two, three, four, five. And remove those four there. And hopefully these will be in the right place. So we're going to do do this, the old swastika again. So two up, one out, two out, one down, two down, one in, two in, one up. And then the blades, we want stairs. There. 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 And then down here, there there and there and then there 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 and there 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 and there there we go and then a block on the end for the cone and then for the propeller shaft just the red again so red shaft all the way forward and then the two up two up one like that and then just blend that all into the rest of the hull there we go, there's our propellers added, propellers and rudder done and it don't look too bad, now the ship has propulsion so there we are, that's that part for the, or that area of the ship done, so the, what we're going to do now, I'll do another jump cut, want to work out what to do, which will be the lifeboats and then any finishing details afterwards, so we're cracking on with this one so um, yeah, I should do a bit more writing down, working out what to do and then we'll move on, so uh, 
back in a moment. Okay, back again. Uh, so before we move on to the lifeboats, we're going to sort out the anchor, which is something I keep forgetting to do. So I'm going to go to the front of the ship, which is where I already am. And we're going to go to the black line on the front, which is here, basically. And we're going to count back to the 12th block back. So if we go on the backs, so we go 1, 2, 3... On the black, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 back like that. And then we go down to the third, is it third block or second block? Down two, so you're down one, two. Yeah, so down two like that, and then we build four down. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then against the side of the ship, add one there, and then one there like that. So it's sort of, it's not an, an awkward area, but it's going to be sort of within the contours of the ship. So, it, so it's basically an upside down T, like that. Plus a block there, and a block there like that. So when we look at it from the side, it's an anchor shape, but if we look at it from any other angle, it does look a bit odd. But that is, the anchor in there and then we'll add a big C on the top like that and there we go there's the anchor added so do the same the other side and hopefully this will get a bit better so it's on the black again back 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 down 2 1 2 down 4 1 2 3 4 plus 1 and 1 1 and 1 for our anchor like that and then a C above that, so one, two, three, four, five, like that. And there we go, there's our anchor. Anchors added. Now, I don't normally add anchors, but as this ship is of an awkward colour, I think the anchor is needed, so there we go. Marvellous. So now we move on to the ship's lifeboats, and there's going to be 12 of these, um, six on each side of the ship. So I'm going, to, I'm going to focus on one side and then do the usual copy paste. So the lifeboats will go on the top deck. Uh, just here behind the ship's bridge wings and we're going to go down to the deck level but in line with the deck with the docking bridge so we're going to go to the fourth block is it the fourth block yeah fourth block back so in line with the, with the docking bridge go back four so so there's the line of the docking bridge so we go one two three four back and one on the wood put our davit there and the davits are the same as the ones on the back so the five height so two three four five two up and two in and then the lifeboat itself is uh, t 12 long so it's going to be 10 for the keel so one block two block gap at our keel which is so it's two wide and 10 long so it's t uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and just measure that to make sure it is and there, that's 10 long there at the bottom and then make it longer at the end so it's 11 long and then 12 long and then the sides it's the same design as the ones on the back so it's very basic so build our lifeboats like that and then fill in the gap in the middle like that and then with our red canvas just cover the top like so And there we go, there's our canvas covered, and then for the last uh, davit, just go back again to do a two block gap and add the second davit, so it's five up, two, and then two like that. And there we go, there's our first lifeboat added. So you want to do this six times down the side, so we want five more of these, I'll do one more and then I'll do a jump cut. Uh, so that's our first boat, and then just leave a one block gap to the next one, so one, two, three, four, five, plus two up, one up, and two across same design so for the keel one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'll measure that as well so it's ten like that and then we add two blocks there at the ends or four rather like that in there and then the sides like so and the sides like so and then Fill in the space like that. And then just cover the canvas. Like so. And then the last life the uh, last davit again, so one, two, three, four, five two up and two in like that and there we go there's our two lifeboats done so far like I say you need six down each side so you want six down this side six on the other side 
I won't do it all on camera because like I said I've just done the first two to give you an idea and that's that little job done so what I'm going to do I'll do a jump cut get the lifeboats in place and then we'll move on to the handrails and that'll be it I think so um, back in a moment okay back again so there's all the lifeboats in place and it should look something like that so you've got the six boats down the side on the boat <coughs> on the boat deck like that and I've also done the other side but like I said they are only a basic shape so you can adjust them and make your own better ones because you know I'm just sort of half assing it if you know what I mean but that's that done there and then for the last job for today is basically just add the handrails so lifeboats are done, forecastles done, sterns all done, propellers, rudder, all marvellous and done. So yeah, we'll add the handrails now. So if we go from the first lifeboat uh, lifeboat davit and just add handrails around the front here, and then across the front to the other side. I don't think these. Yeah, I've looked on the prototype. The lifeboats don't go all the way around the side; it's just up to the davits. So just add the handrails up to that davit there, like so. There we go, and then we'll add the next life, uh, next handrails above, behind the uh, behind the bridge wing. So add handrails along the sides here. So I do apologise in advance if you can't follow this tutorial too well because I'm going a bit too fast. But it's because I'm a bit rusty, but I'm enjoying myself doing it. I enjoy having Bree here in my company. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so just get these handrails out of the way. Down the side and then around the other side. Down to there and then round up the other side. These things are a pain in the ass to add, I must admit. And I normally have a good old rant about this, but as it's been so long, I usually leave the rants for the live streams anyway. <laughs> <laughs> as you know as well, Breed, the rants usually come out in the live stream, so I don't normally, I don't really have anything to rant about right now. Yep. Other than to say, I hey, love you, honey. Love you. <laughs> so get these handrails down to the bridge wings up to there, like so. There we go. So that's that little job done there. I don't think there's any more needed in this area. So I think that's all okay. And then uh, on the back of the boat deck for the last lifeboat, dab it there, add handrails around the back again. So around the back. So, and then up the other side, Ooh, up to the derrick like that, and there we go, that's the boat deck sorted, and then the last part is to go back to uh, the lifeboat on the deck house here and go from the lifeboat davit here across the front of this deck house and up to the other davit as well. And there we go, that's the uh, that's everything done there. So that's the Balmoral Castle all done. And I must admit I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out. And all done in three videos, which I'm also quite impressed about. And uh, I very much appreciate you all for watching who do watch this. Um, I'm not sure what the next ship's going to be. I'm sort of pondering whether it be no, no, Titanic 2 or the Brianna Marie or something like that. Something a bit bigger than the previous one. Cause we done, we sort of started off small. Cause we did the Beaver for, didn't we, Bree? Which was fun. Mm -hmm. And then we moved up to this one, which is a bit bigger. And then the next one might do the Sabaiski or the Laconia or some, something. Maybe not Titanic 2 or, or Brianna Marie. Sort of go on something that's slightly bigger rather than fucking huge. But we'll wait and see on that one. Um... But yeah, it's been fun. It's been it's been good getting back into the tutorials, and now people can stop complaining with the rich. Do this, rich. Can you do a tutorial? <laughs> rich, when you can, you can do it again. You know what I mean, Ian Bree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I'm back. We are back, and we're going to carry on doing these, and uh, hopefully more for the future. But that is the Balmoral Castle all done. We'll have one more quick look around it to make sure everything's all in place, and. Yep, so don't look too bad. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. So that's it for that or this tutorial. So not like I say, not sure what the next is going to be, but I might put a poll up to see what people want, and we'll go from there. But anyway, 
We'll call it a day now. So this is Rich and Bree signing off, logging off and disappearing. And uh, I shall see you later on. Over to you, Bree. This is Bree signing off, logging off and disappearing. <laughs> and we'll see you all in another tutorial soon. Bye, everyone.